Okay, it has been a long, hot, and productive day. So, but I wanted to do a quick video of one of my projects today. Um, this is my um, garden washing station, I guess you'd say. Um, I'm ready for harvesting um, a bunch of stuff, lettuce and that kind of thing. And I, I normally take everything, I scoop it up, take it in the house and wash it in the kitchen, but it just makes such a mess. And so I decided that I wanted this year, I wanted to do a washing station where I could um, do all this outside. But I, so I wanted to show you what I did. What, um, we always have a bunch of wood left over because I don't like to throw any of it away. And so I just went out and grabbed a bunch of our scrap wood from the piles and I just kind of looked at it and decided, okay, I think this will work. We had um, an extra piece, a five foot long piece of rabbit wire. And that works for me. It um, worked perfectly. And so everything that I did here today um, is just scraps that I had laying around. So I had to spin an extra dime on it. But I wanted to show you what I did. Okay, um, for one, I made this thing at 36 inches high so that I don't have to bend over. My back already hurts, I don't wanna do it anymore. So um, I had boards laying around and I, I made the four legs, I'm gonna show you. I made the four legs 36 inches high and I used two befores to make a rectangular top. <clears throat> well, for my purposes, um, I'm making, I made the wash part of it at um, four, in, four feet, 10 inches. And then I also made a little kind of a chopping board type of a deal right here on the end of it. That way I can pull up my lettuce and just chop off the bottom and get that stuff ready for compost. I can throw a compost bucket right down here. And, but I also put, I made sure to leave holes so that um, when I wash it off, it just goes straight through. Now, speaking of washing them off and going straight through, I wanna show you here. I've got rabbit wire and I've got it kind of to where I pressed it down and made a, a bit of a dip so I'm not going to be spraying off um, <laughs> over the edge. But what I also did, the last little piece that I put on, so I can show you this. We had some extra pieces of aluminum, uh, like the tin the, for roofing and some two by twos and we screwed them on the two by twos and then put the um, Put them up here, fasten them underneath on the legs um, to where they've got a bit of a fall. That way when I wash up there, the water comes down here and catches and goes into this bucket and I will let it sit out in the sun for about a day and then I will pour it on my garden. And um, that way I don't have any water lost and I'm gonna have to have a much bigger bucket <laughs> because once I get to going, this was just one batch of lettuce. So the water from that, and it's amazing how much water I use to um, wash my veggies. So I'm now, I'm glad that I'm gonna be able to save that and not have that extra expense or waste. But anyway, it was a pretty simple project. It didn't take me more than an hour max and I was doing it myself. Um, my husband did come out at the end of the day and kind of help me um, get these on, but he likes to get his hands in it too. But anyway, that's, the, that's my veggie washing station and I think it's going to work for us pretty well.